the safety of his kids. You can see all the protective gear that Valorian has on at this time. It takes a lot of speed and a lot of throttle control. Let's hear it right there, folks, for Valorian Flores! Few words of advice from the veteran daredevil himself, Ricardo. How about
step in a cage without a bike. Oh, look at this. No, they're doing three bikes. Who wants to think three bikes in there? Armando Flores, third bike. 14 foot diameter. The weight of the bike itself is six feet. Each one of them. That means 18 feet in a 14 foot sphere. How about The first time attempted here in Pittsburgh at the Mellon Arena. Can it be done? A good start. Both Ricardo, his mind, and Armando. No, look at this. No, he's crossing through the center. Ricardo making a move. Strike down through the center. Up, down, and all around. Is that scary? Kind of a little. A little? How long have you been doing this? For four years. For four years? And you're seven years old, and you've been doing it for four years. Wow. Is this what you're going to do all the time? Yes. Do you think one time you could get in there and ride like your dad, and, and maybe with your mom at the same time? Yes. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, very much. Very much so, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a big round of applause for Lori. That's truly amazing. <laughs> Ricardo, your, your family is so lovely. Thank you so much for being a part of the Advanced Auto Parts Monster Jam. Oh no, thank you guys for letting us be here. This is awesome to listen to a crowd like this. It makes it so much fun. I mean, we're out there, you know, we're, we're concentrating, but my kids, are, they're just overwhelmed by the, by the response, by the noise. I mean, I don't know if it's the building or it's the people in Pittsburgh, but it gets loud in here. It's the people of Pittsburgh. Let them hear it. Ricardo, as our crew comes out to start to disassemble this sphere right here. Last year, I was out in Biloxi for the first time to witness your family do the sphere of fear. And your father was with you at that point um, and take it over for your son. Your son yet wasn't riding at that point. It's truly amazing now to have your own family with you. Oh, absolutely. And actually, he was riding. He's been riding since he was four. He was in school. And our school comes first, he had a big test to do, so he couldn't make it out to the show. But yeah, my father, he, my father taught me, but between my dad and I, we taught my son, my daughter rides as well. Uh, you know, so it's just a family tradition, and what better way to, you know, to be on the road all the time. We get to go every place, it's, it's cool, I mean, like here, everywhere. Biloxi was awesome, you know, to take the kids with us when school's not in, it doesn't get any better than that. Especially during the summertime. I know you guys travel all over the place. How long ago did your father start this? Oh my gosh, uh, ever since I can remember. I think I was smaller and blowing. All I can remember is pop, you 